all right everybody hello hello i am back i am back i am just now getting off work well actually yeah i'm just getting off work i had <clears throat> i headed to the salon forgive me excuse me, me. <clears throat> i headed to the salon about 3 45 3 30 and um i'm just now leaving the salon and it's about 6 20 and i'm about to head to church but i wanted to come to you guys really quick and give you guys an update and a visual of this retwist it is now six months i started this process in september specifically on september 22nd <clears throat> and now it is march um 13th and so that's why I am in this process right now. Um, let's talk about my retwist today. Uh, this side of my hair, let me have you look at it. This is my retwist. look up front again so this is my retwist um so this side of my hair at the front it still hurts it hurts really really bad like it is it's hard to explain but it's very uh tender to the touch it is so tender to where when she was retwisting it it hurt like it was very it was like i was getting my hair braided and my scalp was sore from taking out a set of braids and putting in this new set of braids so that's what i mean by it was very 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 sensitive and tender to the touch a lot of people say it's like that because it's growing um i hope that is true but that's <clears throat> how it felt i've been having a lot of itching still at this stage my hair itches a lot <clears throat> and when i say a lot it really itches i mean i tried peppermint oil with water i have tried rose water with vitamin e i have tried uh tea tree oil um of course olive oil coconut oil and sorry i don't know if you guys can still hear me um I have tried the oils those things are working I'm still using my main and choice after I get to after these start to get old and they kind of begin to get puffy and feel a little rough I use that main choice still so those are the things I use to try to help me with the itching but nothing really calms it down really nothing um, I do massage my hair very often my head very often with a massage I think uh, that really helps a lot with my growth. It increases the blood circulation in your head, which helps with your growth. I think that has helped a lot um, with my growth process right now. I do see the difference of my some length, you know, now within this stage, I do see some, some length. Um, I really do. When it's in this puffy state, I really don't see any length. It seems like it shrivels up. And then when it's, I don't know, that's what it seemed like to me. So that makes it feel like it's really frustrating because you you don't see the process, you don't see the growth, um, you don't see the progress. And so you wanna give up. And then when I'm flipping back through my old pictures, and I'ma post my journey from natural to locks. And when I, you will see how my hair is really full and really thick. And when I have braids and when I see those pictures, I'd be like, man, I miss that. Or when I see lace fronts, I'd be thinking I miss that or sew-ins. But overall, I think I'm pretty happy with my locks. I just need to be more content um, and be patient. I don't want to act impulsively and then I feel like I made a mistake by taking my locks out. And then all of a sudden, I want them back in my hair. So I'm going to just take my time and uh, continue to enjoy this process. But again this side of my head is very sore the middle of my hair that's where all the itching is right in the center it itches so bad right in the center nowhere else just in the center um what else uh should i tell you guys um 
when I started my journey, my hair up here was like, it was red and then I dyed it purple on the tips and then that kind of faded out. Let me start driving here. Then it kind of faded out in, um, um, so that's how I got to the, uh, color that my hair is in now. <clears throat> um, and so with that said, that's why my uh, color is whatever it is. I don't know. But I've been really thinking about dyeing my hair in the back and around black and then just keeping my color, whatever this color is at the top. I really believe that this color is kind of blending in with my skin. And so I really like it. I don't want to change it. But at times, I don't like it at all. I don't know. This journey got me confused. I don't know what I want sometimes. But then at other times, I'm satisfied. So if I was to give anyone advice, I will say you are going to experience a lot of itching. You are going to experience sensitivity with your scalp being extremely soft and tender. Um, stick to the course. You're going to feel like your hair is not even growing at all. Like you can't even see the growth. But it's doing something, I guess. It's doing something. I just don't realize it's doing anything. I love the fact that... That I can just get up and go and take off my bonnet and go to work. I love that the fact that I can do that. Um, my daughter, as you guys know, she is doing the same process as well. She is not with me right now. She has not been with me on these last few videos. She is always either with her grandmother or at home. Um, but I will post a few pictures of her progress at the end of this video so you guys will see her. S please stay tuned for my next video where you guys will see where we went from natural to our hair um, being getting locked. And I will show probably a separate journey for Ravion and then my journey. So you guys will, um, so the video won't be so long. Please subscribe, you guys. Support us. Please subscribe. I'm excited. I want you guys to get excited with me. I need some encouragement to stay on this process. This um, I'm so used to changing my hair all the time, so the encouragement will really help. Um, again, if you have any questions, leave your questions down below. Um, any products that I'm using, if you want to see the actual bottle, um, I will, you know, they haven't changed if you looked at my previous videos but if you need to see the actual bottle i will show you um but stay tuned for the next video where you will see my natural journey to where i am now thank you bye bye say hey ray say hi welcome back to our channel um so ravion is with me now and this is her hair let me go ahead and so our last twist retwist was on February 28th. Ravion actually went to get her hair twisted like a week ago. No, it's going on was it a week ago or was it is it going on 2 weeks? It's going on maybe 5 and a half days and this is where what her hair looks like since then. So I'm going to try to All right. This is what Ray's hair looks like after the um, retwist over two and a half weeks ago. I'm trying to get you guys some fairly good pictures, but it's doing something else. Okay, well, hold your head down, Ray.